Hey guys, today I'll teach you how to solve a 2x2 Rubik's Cube using a beginner method. So the first thing we'll do is build an entire layer on any color, but I'm going to use white for this tutorial. And what I mean by a layer is not only have this face solved and all be white, but also have these colors around it line up. So once your cube is scrambled, I'm just going to start with white, and I see white, 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 white. So there are four options of which one I want to start with. So I can just say I'm going to start with this one. It doesn't matter which one you choose, and then just put it on the bottom like this. So that is going to be my first solved piece. So once you choose which one you want to be solved, look for white pieces in the top layer. So for example, we have this one over here. So remember to keep this on the bottom at all times. This white piece has green and red also on it. Look at your original solved piece and we have red and blue. So the color they have in common is red. Because of that, I want this piece to be next to the red here. In other words, this piece is going to be solved when it is over here. So now what I'm going to do is turn the top layer so that it goes directly above the spot I said it was going to go into because it's got red here and this red here, so it's going to go next to it here. Now to move this one from the top into the bottom, make sure you're holding it in your right hand like this, not in your left hand, and then repeat this sequence of moves. Make sure you get the sequence of moves down because it's going to be very important later on as well. So hold your left hand like this and hold your right hand like this with your thumb on the bottom. Then repeat after me. Turn the right side up, push the top with your right hand, turn the right side down, push the top with your left hand. So you're going to repeat that until this corner is solved. So do we see white on the bottom here? No, we don't. So we're going to repeat. And this is white on the bottom, but it's not the piece we were looking for. As you can see, that's not the red piece. So we're going to go again. And there it is. Now we have a solved piece. So what we can do is keep repeating this. So we look in the top layer for white pieces. We see white here, and this has orange and blue on it. So look at what we've already solved. We have blue, red, and green. So the color they have in common is blue. So that means this one must go next to the blue piece over here. So we're going to move the top until it's directly above that spot, hold it in the right hand, and then repeat those four moves until this one is in here. So once, and nope, the white's not on the bottom yet, twice, three times, four times, five times, sometimes it takes up to five times, and then now it's in there. And just make sure the colors here match as well. And for example, the last piece here, we found a white piece in the top layer. It's got orange and green. So, well, there's only one last spot for it. So we're just going to move it in here and repeat the four moves until it's in there. And there we go. There's the first layer. One situation you could run into is your first layer is not done, but there's no more white pieces in the top layer. So in that case, it might just be in the bottom layer and how to remove it into the top layer so you can do what you normally do is just put it on the right side like this and repeat the four moves. That moves it up into the top layer without breaking your progress. And then once it's in the top layer, you can just put it into the spot it should go into normally. So once you finish the first layer and check that all the sides here are the correct, then we're going to move on to the last layer. So focus on any particular bottom layer piece. I'm going to choose this one, which has red and green on it, but it doesn't matter which one you pick. Then try and solve the corner that goes directly above it. So we're going to turn the top layer until we see red and green. And it's this one. This one has yellow, red, and green. Now we're going to check every other piece on the top and see if they're in the correct spot and count how many we have. So here we have red, blue, and this one's red, blue. So this one's correct. Blue, orange, not blue, orange. So this one's incorrect. Green, orange, not green, orange. So this one's also incorrect. So in this case, we happen to have two that are in the right spot. So your goal for this step is to get all four in the correct spot. If they all were in the right spot already, then you're done this step. But if you cannot get all four in the correct spot, then you only want one in the correct spot, not two like I have here. So for example, in this one, I could just do another turn instead, and we find that only this one is in the correct spot and every other one is in the wrong spot. So this is good. Now, sometimes you won't be able to get all four and you won't be able to get only one. In that case, you'll just do what I'm about to show from anywhere. But if you only get one in the correct spot, then you want to hold it on the front right like this. Next, what you do is this algorithm that's quite easy to memorize because it has a nice pattern to it. So turn the top with your right hand, turn the right side up. Now, repeat this with your left hand. Top with your left hand, left side up. Now, the exact same thing, but all downwards this time. So top with your right hand, right side down. Top with your left hand, left side down. So once you've done this, this one should still be in the correct spot, but every other one should have moved. So check if they're in the right spots and they're not. So that means we're just going to repeat it again. Top with your right, right side up, top with left, left side up, and then all down. Top with the right, right side down, top with left, left side down. And now we check them all again and they're all in the correct spot. So what we do is see that, okay, all the top pieces have yellow on them here, which means yellow is what goes on the top here. So what we're going to do is turn it upside down and hold any unsolved piece here at the bottom right. 
And so we're going to repeat the four moves that I showed in the beginning until the yellow here faces the bottom. So I'm gonna do it once like this, twice, three times, four times, and there we go. Now, once this one is solved, we're going to go on to the next corner, but instead of just rotating the whole cube to go to the next corner, this will mess up your whole cube. So instead, we're just gonna stay facing the same side, but then turn the bottom only to grab the next corner over. Then we're gonna repeat until this corner is solved. There we go, it's solved, and then we're gonna move on to the next one and repeat. And there it is, then that's the whole thing. Lastly, if you wanna get faster, links are in the description for more advanced methods. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, this video will be example solves for the two by two beginner method. So I'm gonna start by looking for white pieces to make the white layer and I can start with any piece I want, put that on the bottom and then this is green and orange. So I'll look in the top layer for another white piece and it's this one, this one's